Welcome back to the channel. So in this video I want to share with you some of my favorite features and things in Visual Studio Code. I use these features on a daily basis and they really make my life easier and also make me more productive. But before we hop into those, real quick, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Tuomo, I'm a Finnish web developer and on this channel I upload videos and tutorials about modern web development. So if you are not already, make sure to hit the subscribe button below so you get notified when I upload new videos. So the first thing I want to show you is the timeline feature. And you can open up the timeline from the lower left hand side of the editor right here. And I use this a lot for browsing through the git commits for a given file. So for example, if we open up a file, we can see that the timeline gets populated and let me make this a bit bigger and we actually get down here all the commits that made modifications to this specific file and we can click these and see what changed in that commit. So for example here looks like there are some deletions done and so on. So this is really handy when I need to know when some changes were made to a given file or when I'm tracking down a bug for example and I need to know at which point a certain code was introduced to a file. So I really love this, this is great and I actually made a more in-depth video about this a while back. You can check it from the YouTube card somewhere up here or from the link in the description. The next feature I use a lot is the integrated terminal. So we actually get an integrated terminal inside VS Code. And more often than not, when coding, you almost always need some kind of terminal or command line window open. Especially if you're working with JavaScript, React, Next.js, that's almost always the case. So it's just so much easier to have the terminal window open right here in your VS Code and not having to change between different windows. And you can just use a terminal right here. So the next feature I use a lot is multi-line editing. So let's open up a file. And let's say for example right here that I wanted to add a text inside all of these divs saying that this is then the row value. So what I could do is just copy paste this to each div right here but there is actually a better way. So let me take those away. And what I can do is use multi-line editing inside VS Code. So right here, I click the cursor to the first row and then I press the Alt key and click the cursor to each of those other rows like this. And we can see that the cursor is blinking on all of those divs. So now I can just type this is and voila, we have the text in all of those rows. And what we can also do, if we don't want to click these, we just place the cursor on the first row and then click Command Alt and arrow down. So it replicates the cursor for each of those lines. And then we can type in the text like this. So I find this really handy when I need to add some kind of same text or same values to multiple rows. So the next feature is probably the one that I use the most. And now that I think it, it is the one that I use most often. And that is the command palette. So we can open up the command palette with command shift P and it actually shows it here when we have no files open. So let's open it up and inside the command palette we have actually access to all the functionality of VS Code. So we can modify settings over here, open up extensions and so on and so on. So if for example I wanted to open up the settings for this workspace, I can type in settings and I actually get open workspace settings and press enter and it opens it up. So to be honest I never go through the menus up there. I just always open up the command palette and type in what I want to do. 
And another thing you can do is when you open it up with just command P and not with the shift, you can search for files and I use this always to open up my file. So for example, if I wanted to open up a file called navigation inside the components, I can just uh, press command P and type in navigation. And right here I can see that it's inside the components folder, the navigation, and I can open it up right from there. And if you have a file open, you also get different set of uh, settings for the command palette. So if we open it up, we can actually, for example, modify the wrapping of this file. So let's type in wrap. So in this view, we can toggle the word wrap. So let's enable that. Well, it appears nothing happened, but actually if we zoom in a little bit, we can see that the rows are wrapping. So if we want to wrap those rows, we can toggle it from there. So let's toggle it back. So wrap, toggle word wrap, and we can see that it de-wraps it, if that's the correct term. Yeah, but that's something you can do from command palette also. And if you want some suggestions for the command palette, if you open it up and take the greater than sign away from there and type in question mark, you actually get some uh, suggestions what you can do with the command palette. And the last thing I really love in VS Code, well, I'm not sure if this is a feature, but at least it's a thing. Well, it's, it kind of is a feature. Well, it's the extensions. So if we open up the extensions and we can actually do it with the command palette. So let's open up the command palette and type in install extensions and open it from there. So right here we can search and install different kind of extensions. And I know many editors and IDEs have some kind of extensions or plugins that you can install to them. But in my opinion, in VS Code, the extensions are very well maintained and there is very active community maintaining them and creating them. So you pretty much get an extension for anything you would like. For example, we get great extensions for ESLint, Prettier, Postman or the Thunder client. Then there is also uh, some Git extensions if you want to use them. And then of course, when talking about VS Code extensions, you shouldn't forget the Vicinder, the Tinder for VS Code and the VS Code stories. If you're not familiar with them, check out Ben Avad's videos about those. I can link them down in the description. But yeah, all joking aside, I really love the extensions in Visual Studio Code because there are so many of them. They are very high quality, most of them, uh, at least most of the extensions that I use and I need, and they are well maintained. If you want to up your Visual Studio Code game and boost your productivity with Visual Studio Code, watch this video over here next where I show you my top 10 favorite keyboard shortcuts for Visual Studio Code.